Let's talk about Lisbon. The history. The culture. The lifestyle. It's all glorious. Starting with the streets of Alfama, with winding cobblestone passageways, fresh laundry hanging from windows, and postcard-worthy views, it's the oldest district in the city. Hmm. A short walk from here is Thieves Market, so if you're missing anything, check this place first. You can scoop up everything, from clothing to weird little dolls. From here, follow the cable cars down to the heart of the city, around Commerce Square. Where you can hang out by the water and see why they call Lisbon the sunshine capital of Europe. Alright, hold on. Time for a snack and let me figure out what's next. Okay, from downtown, take the bus to the neighborhood of Bele. Go see the historic Hieronymus Monastery, stop by the Presidential Palace to say hi, and then I welcome everyone to go see my future home, the Belém Tower. On the way back from Belém, soak up the streets and make your way to Santa Catarina Lookout for sunset. It's just a really cool spot with a great vibe. Hang out, listen to live music, have a couple of drinks or whatever else is available and enjoy the sunset. I don't know how it is for you, but for me, when the sun goes down, the hunger comes out. So it's over to Figuera Square for a seasonal market where people were just showing off with barrels of sangria and cured meats for days. And after a taste here, the timeout market is a necessary walk away. It's here you can find more meats, really good seafood, and other deliciousness. The place is pretty touristy, but the food is legit. Bottom line is, it was a pretty touristy day. But it's Lisbon, so I'll make an exception. I spent a week in total here in Lisbon, and I can say with confidence that, along with Porto up in the north, this is my favorite city in Europe. I know it's a bold statement, but it's true. Hey guys, greetings again from my Airbnb here in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, a little bit more traditional place than you may have seen at the end of the Porto video. But I just want to take a minute and say thank you, thank you, thank you. We surpassed 30,000 subscribers on this channel this week. And it's not a lot to some people, but it means the world to me. And, and, and I'm really appreciative for that. So thank you guys so much. Hope you like this little series from Portugal. I didn't have a whole lot of time there, but I wanted to document it. I fell in love with that place and I can't wait to go back. Otherwise, we got a Taiwan layover video coming up next week and then a bunch of content from Japan. Hopefully you guys like it. And as always, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment, and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks guys.